Welcome back, everybody! Welcome to the finale. It is time for Tales of Exilia 2 to finish today as we beat Kronos last time! So now it's time to watch the end of the game. Am I right? Am I right? Oh, man. I don't know why I thought that was Kronos, but that was Luger the whole time. Accept <laughs> this. Whoops. You will not inflict agony upon Origin any longer! <sighs> You are a poor sport, Kronos. <gasps> Whoa. Don't bother. Your mastery of time and space is useless against the power of Origin's Void. That means the girl is... <sighs> Correct. The true key of Kresnik. That we already knew that. That we already established that. This cannot be... <sighs> Trial's over. Humanity wins! <sighs> What are you doing here? Why'd you take off on your own? I promised I'd come. Yeah, why'd you take off on your own? Why'd you take off on your own? I... I was so worried that you would disappear. I wanted to stop it. I thought I had to go by myself. Scary being all alone. How could you put her through this? I did what was needed to defeat Kronos. At the very least, this tragedy will not be in vain. With my wish, I shall rob the spirits of their will, creating a world solely for humans. You're just gonna piss Origin off with that wish. Origin has no say in the matter. Oh! The trial itself is a spirit arm spawned from the pact between the progenitor Kresnik and the great spirit Origin. As long as the pact's conditions are met, Origin will be compelled to use his power. <laughs> Give it up. She's beyond saving now. Of course, you could always wish away her pain. No, we have to get rid of the fractured dimensions. Ah, yes. And Origin can grant only one wish from one person at a time. I suppose one way to save her would be for me or Luger to turn into a catalyst before she does. That would be the millionth catalyst, the magic number, and all transformations in progress would be cancelled. <laughs> Of course, that also means humanity fails the trial, and the world comes to a bitter end. Please, wash away the fractured dimensions, so that Luger won't disappear. I'm gonna wish that L be saved. Beasley, I won't let your wish be granted. <coughs> uh, yeah. Beasley, I won't let your wish be granted. Can't be serious. Nice dodge. Let me ask you again Do you really believe you can stop me? L Luger! <laughs> Don't worry about it, Luger. I will work this out with Origin. 
Can you even do that, Maxwell? It's not a matter of whether you can or can't. It's whether you do or don't. <laughs> you are all nothing more than the spirit's lapdogs. I've crawled over a mountain of corpses to get this far! Beasley's Chromatis. Oh, he looks tough! But we're not scared. Luca. Yep. It's time to fight. Don't waste my time. Sync our attacks together. Leave the healing to me. Ready, everyone? Ready, everyone? Ah! <coughs> no weaknesses. Three hundred twenty thousand HP. All right, we got this. Is it though? Oh my gosh, the Lord of Destruction. Oh. Um. You know, I'm kind of forgetting. That this fight is actually kind of annoying. Alright, alright. You gotta chill. You gotta chill. My guy, you gotta chill. <laughs> okay. Okay, as soon as I get up, it's like I'm trying to get beat up a little bit more. Okay. I just want to get free. I want to get free all right here we go and then you can do a little bit of that I don't want to leave the arts to you so is right its own thing too oh it is okay all right and die <coughs> Well, I mean, you're not gonna die, but imagine he did die. That'd be crazy. Yeah, baby, let's go. Wait, now we're good. All right, Luger's only on level one right now. This is the final round, man. Oh, please, this is bad. Oh my gosh, why? Okay. Stop! Stop getting beaten up! Okay, alright. I mean, we're trying, you know. I'm gonna do this. Wait! That didn't, like, cause a, a healing thingy? Oh my gosh, Revitalize is the one I want. <laughs> Full Resurrection? What does that do? <coughs> Press one ally to full HP, grant them auto revive and boost their P attack, A attack, P defense, and A defense? Dang, there's no way. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna put resurrection on. <laughs> I think I need to do something silly here. And we'll put Cure on as well. I don't know if I should be doing both of those. Because we don't exactly have a lot of time after Luger stuff is all done. But you know what? Frick it. What else should I be doing, really? Okay, then let's go. Yeah, get freaking cured, man. It's 
time to get the funny business going. Ba ba da ba doo ba doo ba doo ba doo ba da ba doo ba doo ba doo ba doo. Ow! <coughs> beat him up! Just beat him up! Okay, I think let's go ahead and do a little bit of that, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and a little bit of this, because a little bit of that is kind of funny. And then you get a little bit of this, and then a little bit of that, and then a little bit of that, and then you're gonna get beat up. Ha ha ha. It's time for the ultimate combo. Time to get really beaten up again. And he's still going pretty dang strong. 40k? He's getting there. Stop! It's not the final round. Uh... Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I didn't realize he was still in over a little bit. That did 8k. Well, I mean, that was more like 6k, I guess. But so that's a lot of freaking damage. <coughs> okay. Bubble Blast. You just did that! Oh. Oh, right. Okay, we're at this part. <laughs> Don't get cocky. So you used Julius's soul to build the bridge. Who else were we gonna use? You really killed Glasses guy? He acts like he was surprised. With one poor decision. You instantly made everyone's death meaningless. Your brother's death. Your own death. Daddy's pocket watch. Luger! Even her death. Suddenly he has a stormtrooper's aim. You can make a pact with a watch? What? This should be interesting. Oh, you can say that again. How dare you! What? What? He just one hit me out of that? <coughs> This dude just one hit me right out of that. <laughs> I don't. I don't. Okay. All right. I don't know why our party order changed, but sure. Hello. I would like to have a do-over right now because we're just all dying. Hello, Luger. Can we get revived, please? Oh, we're down to one life bottle. Uh Oh, this is bad. <laughs> That's uh that was a little anticlimactic actually. Uh brother, you got to be kidding me, man. <coughs> a little just a little bit anticlimactic there. Uh let's just boost all our stats by 25%. I'm sure that'll work just fine, right? Oh, we start back from here. Alright. I don't know why it went into over limit though. That was like such bad timing, honestly. <coughs> this is your final round. 
Oh, you freaking! Are you kidding me, man? What a smack in the face! I still don't really have a lot of items, though. Oh, come on! I can't do anything. <coughs> All right, we're gonna. Please. Farewell, farewell. All right, we're good. We're good. We're okay. We're not dead yet, man. Boost all our stats by 25%. Dizziness ends up killing all of us anyway. <coughs> Why did at least get healed so quickly? Oh, rip Mila. Okay, then let's go. Bro, why does he do so much damage? I don't remember Beasley being this OP. I actually do not remember him being this OP. What is going on here? I might be a few levels lower than I was before. Like, I don't think I was level 6. Didn't I say before it was like 69? I can't load my save. Uh, well, not that I want to, but... I thought it was 69 when I fought freaking Julius. So, I feel like I'm a little bit of a low level right now. But still, I shouldn't be that low of a level, right? <coughs> Do that. Uh, let's just... I don't know if that's going to help that much, but better than nothing, right? Uh, sure, no. Flash guard with null damage completely. Yeah, we need that. We need that, honestly. Uh... I think that'll be huge for us if we link up with Elise or something and get like some kind of OP resurrection spell. That'd be nice. Uh, 30% chance of bringing knockback? Sure. <coughs> Using flash cards successfully will activate elongated staff. Nah, I don't think we need that. Attacking the air damage dealt to enemies increased by 20%. TP consumed decreased by 25%. No. No. Wait, why would I want Fury Stoke at all, actually? 77% chance of getting twice as much gold? <coughs> so. What? I mean, it's just kind of silly, though, really, but yeah, whatever. Must have watery sun as well, though. Uh, certain portion of your items will have increased effectiveness in battle. Sure. And these are going twice as likely to drop items. Sure. Item steal steals gold instead of items. Dash animation of the field map? I kind of want to know what that looks like, because I don't think I even knew about that. Don't know if I even knew I had that. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and go crazy now. Uh, give me that. Give me that. Alright, Luger? By the way, do we have? We still have our food, okay. Uh, yeah, let's get everybody buffed up a little bit, though. <coughs> Increase movement speed by 25%, maybe. Chromatis Gauge fills twice as quickly when Luger's below 30% HP. Yes! Uh, take 25% less damage when HP is below 25%. Yes, actually. Oh, you have that too? Interesting. Uh, I don't even know what I want to do. Tony will transform, cause a chromatic gauge to deplete 50% slower, however, you may stagger from enemy attacks. Ew. Uh, do that. And you can do avoid staggering when attack during quick step. Uh, do that, I guess. All right. Uh, wait, no. Do that. There we go. Now I feel good. Let's go with. Let's go with something. I don't know what to do. Maybe recall. Maybe this is where we just give recall to someone finally after. 75 years. No matter how powerful an attack is, guarding will help maintain 1 HP and avoid a KO. Uh... Take only 1 point of damage for magical attacks when using magic guard, but receive twice as much damage when not using it. Ooh. 
<coughs> oh, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, oh, oh. I don't know if that's even necessary, but let's do that. Uh, do that. Okay, computer not good at perfect guarding, am I right? Uh, you, Mila, can do perfect guard. Don't know if she needs any of this stuff. Energy barrier, energy armor. It's a thought, right? Change spirit ice again with no delay. Each spirit art must be different. I'm gonna have to trust the AI to be good at this, I guess. Alright, you can do that. And I think that's gonna restore 50% of your last TP consumption. Wait. <coughs> can I use those together? And be like, hey, here's a bunch of stuff for no reason. You what? Can I actually use these all together? <coughs> uh, give me... I need seven more. Where am I going to get seven more? I thought I turned that off. Did I not turn that off, or did I turn that on? Did I not have that on? I'm so confused. Uh, okay, that's not necessary. Didn't mean to do that. Alright, okay, okay. <coughs> I feel like we're gonna make Mila, like, our, our carry carrying device here. If Luger can't just break through immediately, then we have a backup plan, basically. It's gonna be fun. It's definitely... Oh, she's done. She's done with fire. Okay, I guess I'll give you Broken Levy now. And since you are done with fire, then you are also done with light. <coughs> I guess I'll give you that. She's done with fire and earth. So we'll give you... I could give you Ultimate Tornado, I suppose. Resolution? What the flip does that do? 1% of max TP restored for each enemy defeated with arts. That doesn't sound like anything special, though, so... Alright. Alright, let's give that a shot. Every We still have the 25% boost, our skills are boosted. Let's see if we can win now. Come on, Luger. I need you to carry here. Honestly, we don't even need anyone else. How dare you! How dare you? Oh, you suck. Get out of here. <coughs> Do a lot of damage. Uh. Oh, that didn't kill him. We're so close, though. We are actually so close. That's so close! Okay, come on. It's all you, Luger! What? Is that all I have to do is just do this again? Because there was no timer. Love to see it. Love to see it. The Eternal Waltz finish. Let's go. Elysium. Oh, this is a Xeno game. Nice. The prequel to Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Wasn't that the name of the thing in, in Xenoblade 2? Elysium? I, I forget, honestly.
Why? How? Why? Wait, why are they here? Damn you, Luger! Behind you. He's just going in for the sucker punch. He did that fast. The chromatis again, if I were you. When you make a direct pact like that, you then run the risk of degenerating and becoming a divergence catalyst yourself. Considering the sheer power at your disposal, you would transform in the blink of an eye. <laughs> <laughs> well, I never expected that you would surpass me. Exactly what makes humans so interesting. Yeah, it's like you might want to <laughs> chill out on that for a moment. We never do what's expected. my wish origin let me tell you my own personal wish to take this fist and punch you all to oblivion that's gonna be a few broken bones in that hand there And there he goes after leaving a blood stain on the Beasley on the before. countdown. May your soul rest in peace. A man who gave his life to fulfill his duty. Hey. I'm so glad that that you all came to find me. You too. Of course. There is nothing to fear. If it comes to it, I'll handle things. Yeah. The Great Spirit Origin. He really is a step Hello, down from the Symphonia Oli. version. I am very pleased to meet you, King Gaius. And I kind of forgot he looked like this. Of course I do. You see, the souls tell me everything. They're sort of like my little birds. You seem quite curious about humans. Perhaps, but not as much as you, Maxwell. I suppose this is our first meeting, but we have little time for pleasantries. We have a request. To rid the fractured dimensions and continue soul purification. Precisely. I would be willing to help you if you think you're at your limit. Even if that meant endless torment? Even so. You really do love humans, don't you? Mila, wait! Enough! You would force Origin to continue the purification? 
I refuse to stand idly by as you continue to torment him with your corruption. Thank you, Kronos. Your concern for me has consumed you for far too long. You mustn't burden yourself over me. We must make the humans accountable and have them pay for their crimes. <laughs> What's so funny? Well, you just showed the most human thing about you. It reminds me why I love humans. What? What the heck is he? I mean? hereby grant these representatives of humanity the right to make one wish. Luger and L for overcoming the trial and opening the door. The wish is yours. Me and Luger? Overcame the trial by one yes, person. Wish for anything, but you must decide together. I could even undo your transformation into a catalyst. <laughs> no, oh, there you go. We can't do that. We have to wish away the fractured dimensions. I suppose one way to save her would be for me or Luger to turn into a catalyst before she does. That would be the millionth catalyst, the magic number, and all transformations in progress would be cancelled. I mean, we won the game, wouldn't... Shouldn't that also cancel our transformation? So then, what shall it be? <coughs> Please save L. Eliminate all the fractured dimensions. Wait a second, was there like two... Was there two different endings here? I don't remember this anymore. Uh eliminate all the fractured dimensions. You do not wish for L's safety? <laughs> it can't be helped. I'll save L. Well, Mm, I forget what happens if I do do this though. Am I have to go through that all over again? I don't want to go through all that all over again, honestly. So I'm just gonna say I'll save L. I'll save L. If that's what they're they're egging me on to do, then I'm doing that. Wait, you can't be serious. Just get swayed by words so easily, like, yep. Like, okay, fine. You mean to save L by turning into a catalyst first? No, stop! You can't do this! Very well, then. Will that be your final decision? Luger Kresnik? Wait, Luger, you can't do this! Jude, let him be. Luger, you're not afraid of vanishing away? <laughs> of course, I don't want to disappear. I'm more afraid of something else. I'm more afraid of something else. I understand. Then I will accept your wish. Are you okay with this? You're doing what most wouldn't dare. For that, I commend you. I don't remember this part having multiple endings, honestly. Other than just maybe like the characters changing because, you know, you're bringing different characters. Please but then they all show up anyway. Del? You're the one that Luger chose. Not one of the possible elves. Not even himself. He chose you here and now. Thank you. This isn't the news I wanted. It's 
so sad. As Choi saved the world and the girl's life, let's see that decision through to the end, Leia. It's the least that we can do. Yeah. This is humanity's true nature, isn't it? Yes. They truly are capable of anything their hearts desire. Even profoundly foolish things. You may be right. But the impurity that exists within their souls is precisely what gives them strength. Come again? What do you think the impurity is? I don't know. Greed, maybe? Desire? Our ego? Yes and no. Is desire different from dreams? Isn't ego the same as free will when viewed in a positive light? In other words, neither is good or evil. Yes, precisely. And that is the reason why I haven't been eliminating it. I remove the miasma created during reincarnation and seal it. But if you do that, the production of miasma will never end. That's why I wanted to test humanity's decision. To see if humans could strive for perfection while bearing the impurity. Humanity's decision? Precisely. That is what I truly wanted to know. But you must continue to show me. Of course. We too will prove who we are. Just as Luger, L, and Julius did. That is a test harsher than anything I could throw at you. If you can overcome it, I have no choice but to concede. For the time being, we shall seal away the miasma together. Kronos. But if humanity should once again... Don't worry. No matter how many millennia it takes, we will succeed. Some very special humans have turned me into a believer. Hm. Then I expect to be impressed. I appreciate it, Kronos. No need for thanks. I'll give you a piece of my mind later. We have plenty of time for that. It's time I grant Luger's wish. The elimination of all fractured dimensions. I thought his wish was to save L. So yeah, then maybe I'm right then. Maybe it didn't matter. Or maybe it does matter. Man, I still don't know. Maybe if I just didn't even say, like, I'll save L. Maybe L just transforms first and like, yep, frick it, man. And then we lose L and it's like, oop, game over, man. Luger. Bad ending number two. It's been an honor knowing you. I will never forget what you have done here today. You wrap things up almost too perfectly. You're just jealous, because you know you couldn't have pulled it off. Ruga, you need not worry about El. We'll take good care of her. We promise! You have helped me to fulfill my duty once again. Luga Kresnik, you have my thanks. I promise to. Hmm. I won't lie anymore. And I'll even eat my tomatoes. I'll never forget how you saved me. <laughs> and just how good your cooking was. Okay? <laughs> Wish I could try Luger's cooking. One thing I was thinking, I could just always replay it on easy mode, I guess. But, again, is it worth it? I don't know. I really don't. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't want to waste time. Especially if it ends up just amounting to nothing in the end anyway, so... I don't know. This should restore the cycle of reincarnation to normal. Yes. Now the human and spirit realms will live on. And we will make sure of that. Farewell, humans and spirits. Let us hope for a brighter day.
the next time we meet. Jude! was that? And now they're gone. In a way, it's kind of too bad that Beasley didn't become that millionth catalyst. He could have just done it himself. Everyone lives a happily ever after. Everything. Speaking of which, what happened to his corpse? What happened to his corpse? It's literally not even there. What happened to his corpse? She's just like, yeah, I'm gone. Bye. I disintegrated into the air already. That that was it, right? Like, that was the ending, right? Man, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of do actually want to play through that again. Like, not the... <coughs> not the whole game, obviously, but just that one part. Maybe put the difficulty on the easy and just be like, alright, here goes nothing. We're just gonna steamroll the final boss. Oh boy. Which, I mean... I don't know, man. Oh, look at all those games. Oh my gosh, there's even a game we're currently playing on that list. That's crazy. That is actually kind of crazy. Tales of Fantasia and Tales of Symphonia had, had different artists? Wait, was there another one that had a different artist too? I saw those two. And Dawn of the New World as well. But I don't know if there was a fourth one on there. It went away too fast. I couldn't read it that fast. I'm too slow. Oh man, look at that cat. So yeah, there will be a bonus episode dedicated specifically to finding the last 30 cats. Um, I do plan on that being a thing. Shouldn't be too big of a deal, especially if I have, like... If I search it up in Google, like, hey, where are the cats I'm missing? Then, you know, easy peasy, right? <coughs> I don't know about the rest of it. The rest of it could get a little tricky, maybe. Just maybe. Poor Tipo getting stretched out like crazy. They're just like... Complete opposites of each other, honestly. Complete opposites. One so peppy, the other one so serious. It's just like, yep, I'm just that's just how I am. Hey, 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 Julius is dead. He can't he can't be here right now. He's literally just dead. Like I came back to life because Luger died, so yeah, got him. It'd be kind of funny if after all that we just did. It's like Canaan, or, yeah, the the Soul Bridge is the Canaan. Uh, Julius and Rideau both just came back to life. Like, yeah, you know, it was just a temporary thing, actually. You thought I was really dead, but I'm not really dead. I'm so back, man. I'd say overall, though, you know, we might not be completely done with Exilia 2, but overall, main story-wise, it was good to revisit. And... Well, I don't know. This game did some good things, did some bad things. One of those bad things definitely being the whole debt system. That was kind of, kind of weird. A little bit weird, honestly. 
You could definitely make an argument, too, that another bad thing being that they didn't really expand in the world very much. Like, they added a couple new locations, but other than that, it was, like, a lot of recycled locations from the first game. A lot of recycled assets from the first game. All the enemies were mostly the same. I mean, you know, what do you expect, really? It's a, excuse me, it's a direct sequel on the same platform in the same engine. Like, I don't know, what do you really expect, to be honest? But, eh, it's still, I don't know, you like a little bit more new, I guess. But look at Dawn of the New World. Look at how different that game is from its predecessor. That game is so dang different. Is this game really all that different, though? Nah, not really. Not really. It's got some things. Dolby and the Double D symbol are trademarks of Dolby Laboratories. Wow. The Double D. That's kind of crazy. Can't believe they put that in a game like this. Oh my gosh. I like the art. Tales games always got good art at the end of them. <coughs> I suppose the good thing about this one is it's at least not just the same, what, green and white that they use in the other Tales games. They kind of like mix up the colors a little bit more. So that's nice. I mean, what, Vesperia did it. I think the Symphonia remaster did that. Uh... Did Abyss do that? I actually don't remember. I think there was more than two Tales games that did that credit style, though. Did Exilia 1 do that style? I don't know. I like this a little better, though. It's not just one, oh, like, two colors, and that's it. Like, ooh. Oh my gosh, we're in the credits again! Bro! They love putting us in the credits. All fans of the Tales of series. Oh, man. It's kind of crazy. Look at Tipo just stealing the spotlight. He's like, I'm in the camera. Well, hey! I look at that camera there. Hoo-hoo! Well, I guess he came back to the to the group in the very end. That's good. Hey, Luger came back to life. Good job, Luger. <coughs> he died. The heck, man? He's not even supposed to be there. Uh, do I have to press a button or okay? I do not have to press a button. Hey, would you like to save your new game plus save file? Oh. Oh, wait, this is actually the freaking ending, isn't it? <laughs> Dr. Jude Math is awarded how prize, I think that said. <laughs> Everyone's moving up in the world. Rolo <laughs> is so, like, shaggy. First reason Maxi and National Assembly established. Article by Leia Rolando. <laughs> Chief Editor Rolando. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dang, she just devoured hey, that. Alvin. Mm -hmm. I can talk. <laughs> no, I'm not taller than you yet, but I'm starting to catch up. Let me guess. You're calling about Mini a Mini Rolo. Right? Yeah. Uh-huh. Got it. Elise will be joining us this time. Come on, Polo. We've got a job. Polo? <laughs> I forgot about that cat. I also forgot it was named Polo. Rolo Polo. Create a new world. What do you mean, go create a new world? All the fractured dimensions are gone. We're not, not creating nothing. Rollo, get up.
that's that's me too, Rolo. I'm, I'm getting old and, and sleepy all the time. <laughs> That just be how it is. How many years in the future is that exactly? It's also kind of disappointing we don't see the rest of them. I hope I hope Rowan's still alive. <laughs> oh, man. It's not like he was really mentioned. I mean, a few others weren't mentioned either, but... Still, event list updated. <coughs> Acquired a, a, a million gold? Endless Waltz LU, a tome that grants Luger access to the Endless Waltz martial art. That's a mystic art, isn't it? Isn't that what we just used to finish off Beasley? Uh, Bond of Shadow, mysterious relic imbued with untold spiritual powers that grants the bearer access to a certain trial. The bearer? But there's, like, everyone can wear that? It's an accessory? Congratulations on clearing the game. Your clear data will be... Wait a second. Is that what I think that does, actually? When you load your clear data, you continue playing from your status just before you clear the game. New Game Plus has also added, been added to the main menu. By selecting this game mode, you can start a new game that carries over all your data from your clear data, but only for each time you've cleared the game. One of the following skills, which can be used when transformed, Overdrive and Chromatis Drive, which can be set from the skill screen. <coughs> uh, I guess we'll go down there again. The bottom doesn't hurt, you know. The bottom doesn't hurt. Just thought I should make that clear. So... Yeah, let's go Luger, you did it! So yeah, I don't think... I don't have a reason to believe anything else happens. Uh... I'm just gonna reload that. Oh, whoa, 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 excuse me. I wanna see... What happens when we reload this save? Anything? Anything at all? Can I fast travel? No! No! <laughs> oh, wait. Well, actually, that's interesting, though, too, because that's basically... Why is it saying there's, like, side quests available? <coughs> like, forget about... Forget about Marksburg. Like, Marksburg is obviously there, of course. But, like, what about Spirius Corporation? What about Triglyph? Why are the green things there? We don't even have anything... We didn't accept any missions. Ah, uh, uh, I don't even know, man. Luger can now be changed to a sub-member. Yeah, Luger, you've been demoted to sub-member. What do you think about that, man? Well, anyway, uh, they did say you got new skills, so I guess let's look at that real quick. Uh, did he get? Wait. Oh, there's overdrive. Wait, did didn't I already have that? What was the other one I got? I mean, if I already have that, then I must have the other thing, too. I've already forgotten what the other thing even is, so... It's probably not that big of a deal. Like I said, I'm guessing we must already have it. <coughs> uh, did I? I did not. Uh, I will say... It's going to be important to do all of these if we're going to be doing the Kitty Dispatch. Well, maybe not super important, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, don't ask me what I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about, actually. I was going to say, maybe if I do that, it'll help me know, like, oh, yeah, what am I? I'm still missing something in this area, but I could just do that. So, yeah. Suppose it's not important. I guess what would be important is if there is any kitties in areas we haven't found yet. And then maybe we need the kitty dispatch to find kitties like that. That would be bad. I don't know if that's a thing or not. I think we got all the kitties from kitty dispatch already. I hope. <coughs> I could be wrong. I don't even know. But uh, what is up with those two healing items? You might want to look into stocking up soon. I agree, Jude. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
I know Beasley kind of like ripped us a new one there, but that was a little too ridiculous, wasn't it? Just a little bit. Nothing there. Okay. So you... <sighs> I should have known. They're all EX. Every single one of these is EX. Even the Sienna Bronk is EX. Uh, I've heard rumors about you. I'm a mad scientist and I've revived all the monsters you beat in order to challenge you. What on earth for, you ask? Why, world domination, of course. Even the old geezer with the crookedest back will turn tail and zip away like a hummingbird. Okay. This is gonna be... This is gonna be a thing, isn't it? Oh, boy. <coughs> Of course, doing all of these is going to be a thing, too. Prism lenses times five? Where would I even get that? Unicorn horn? Okay, so Money Lover, and this is from Mint, from Tales of Fantasia. I guess I'll take them. I'm not sure where I'm going to get those, but I'll take them. Code J data three times one. And then I think... Oh... Steam Pressure Black Fisher? Okay. I'm, I'm not gonna worry about this too much right now. Bro... Okay, I'm gonna at least remove this one. And then we'll go ahead and just grab... Lightly clovers. Ah, oh, yes. Perfect. It's absolutely perfect indeed. Thank you very much, Average Joe, for all that money. Ooh, we're silver medal. Let's go. <coughs> no pink emeralds, though. Hey! Finally have a use for all that. <laughs> Let's go. Wild gold dust. Nice. Well, in the end, we made the silver medal, which means now we can do... Oh yeah, do that. That's possible too. Is that the only thing that became possible? It's just that one mission? It's not a big deal, it really isn't, because... Um, you really just gotta beat one of these things, and you're essentially just gonna rank up. Almost immediately. Like, what's the lowest one? Was it 60,000? Like, this is the only one. No, I'm sorry. This one and um, that one. Those are the only two that are not just going to instantly rank me up. So, yeah. Okay. I guess I got to think of objectives that we're going to do for this. Like, yes, obviously, guys, there's going to be... I don't know, if we'll find I don't know anything, actually. So, we got the objective to do... Where... Sherrilton, right? That's for one of the things that we just picked up. So we gotta do kitties. Memes. We gotta do. Why not ask the cats to do it? If these guys would shut up already, I can. Um... We gotta do our debt. We got two million. We need to pay back eighteen, so that's gonna be a little bit of a pain. L souvenir. We got a skit. Oh my gosh. Right, 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 Mayor, right, right, right. What are you writing? I'm just jotting some notes in my L diary. L diary? I'm keeping track of what happens while L's away. So when we see her, we won't have forgotten anything. So it's like a souvenir for L? Maybe I should get her something too. A collection of pretty stones, maybe. You'll have to prepare her favorite meal, Luga. Yes. And you can put on a cloak and golden crown for her, Gaius. A cloak and crown? I'm sure that's how Elle likes to see her kings. What about me? When we get to Canaan, you'll show her what it is you do. That is what you promised her, is it not? Yes. Yes, it is. Haven't tried it, but uh, very soon we will. Hey, Tipo. What do you really think of me? You're a god among men! 
So <laughs> handsome, so cool, so what? stylish. Oh my, how did you do that? Your mouth wasn't moving at all. Oh, it's easy enough. I've been waiting for a chance to do that since forever. If you don't mind. But the handsomest of all is that silver fox Rowan. <laughs> Impressive. It was just like he was talking. <laughs> you honor me. I want to try. Oh, I'm so hungry. Let's eat soon. Mila, that was amazing. Is there anything the Lord of Spirits can't do? It pains me to say it, but I think you have all of us beaten. Really? Really? Thanks. Jeez. I've never tried that before, but it's quite entertaining. I bet with a little bit of practice. That's enough. I like Alvin and Rowan's version better. Like a ventriloquist dummy. My body is not your plaything. Plaything, you say? Why that you say all sorts of interesting ideas. Muse. Uh, like what? Her eyes are scaring me. That I I don't like the way she said that. <laughs> I don't like the way she said that. Uh, okay, so I suppose I don't know actually. Do I even want to go back to freaking Marksburg? I'm a little curious about what's going on over here. One thing. It's Ivor? Well, I suppose if there was a fur. Oh. There's Mila. I should, she didn't spawn in right away. Well, I guess if there was something we could do for the first bonus episode, I guess it'd be the mess around with Ivor. Unless that leads to absolutely nothing. In which case... <coughs> excuse me. I guess there's always the objectives over here. Whatever we need to do over here. I don't know who's... Who wants to talk to us? I just started something. Oops. Well, all right, whatever. Excellent, you have all arrived. What impeccable timing. Something happened? We heard reports about an incident in Drellin. Something strange is going on at one of the warehouses there. What can be going on at a warehouse? Are the cockroach freedom fighters rebelling against their vermin overlords? Ew! That's going to give me nightmares. Yeah, rats and roaches, count me out of this one. That is not the situation. They say one of the warehouses is sealed with a mysterious force. They say when you enter, a strange force teleports you back outside. We would like you lot to handle this for us. Oh? Are you too sick or something? You're acting a little different from normal. No, we are considerably fine. Luger, the warehouse in question belongs to our company. We must insist that you investigate. This may be the effect of some powerful spirit arts. Indeed, someone might be inside the warehouse manipulating the barrier from within. Whoever's behind us must be must have been waiting for this opportunity. Dot 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 dot. Looks like we need to check this out. Let's head to Drellin. Wait, is this the thing I was thinking of? Okay. Well, I don't really. Oh, I mean, I gotta remember to do that, I guess. Oh, you know what? I'm just. <laughs> Uh, let me save. 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 I just want to be sure what I'm hopping into right now. I think it'd be best to go over there now so I just don't forget about it. Although I kind of doubt I'll forget about it because I think I was... I think I knew about this anyway. Oh my god, look at this crowd of people. The illusory darkness. Don't let me get squished. Is this exactly what I was thinking of? I think this was exactly what I was thinking of. This is the place Vera was talking about. Okay. Alright, um... I'm going to go back to the title screen. We're just not going to worry about that right now. We're not going to worry about that. That's going to be later. That's going to be later. Anyway, everyone. The game is finished. 
The Let's Play poll should be in the description. Thank you everyone for joining me for Tales of Exilia 2. There will be bonus episodes, of course. Uh, I don't know when that Let's Play poll will end. I'll figure it out when this episode actually comes out, which will be a little bit, because this is what, episode 58, I think? And as of recording this, the last one that came out was the, the bad ending episode. So, um, we'll figure it out when that time comes, but uh, all I'll say is that there will be a few bonus episodes, at least one on the kitties, one on the debt, maybe one on the debt, I don't know actually, to be honest. I don't think I can really grind like 16 million gold in, in the span of one episode, but um, I mean, all those elite monsters will help. That'll definitely help. Uh, we need to do that thing that we stumbled onto. <coughs> and then there's also the fact uh, what else? Oh yeah, we do need to do the Colosseum. I know we haven't really touched that at all this entire game, but we do need to do the Colosseum at some point. Uh, I don't know what else there is to really do. Kitties, that thing, that Colosseum. I'm not thinking of anything off the top of my head. I, I think those might be the important things to focus on. So, yeah. Because we don't really need to worry about the elite monsters. I mean, yeah, I'm going to do as many of those as I can just for the sake of clearing the debt. For the sake of also maybe maxing out our metal rank too. I mean, again, maybe not important, but, you know, it'd be nice. It'd be nice. Uh, but anyway, everyone, I think I'll see you next episode. We're going to do that Ivor thing, too. Yeah, I guess that could be one, too, if it's substantially long enough, anyway. Yeah, we could do that as a bonus episode as well. Anyway, yeah. On the next exciting episode, everyone, it'll be bonus episode number one. What I choose to do will probably be Ivor. What I choose to do after that, I have no idea. But we'll find out then. Until then, everyone, I'll see you next time. Bye. Hello everybody, you've reached the end of this video! But before we go for the day, I'd just like to give a quick shout out to the Tier 4 and above channel members. Phoenix Edgeworth, Akron X2, Yellowcat, Deb, and Chris Batosh. Thank you everyone for being awesome and supporting the channel. If you too would also like to get shouted out at the end of each video and live stream, shout outs are available to all Tier 4, 5, and 6 channel members. I hope you have an awesome day, and I'll see you next time!